Legendary animals have sparked up many questions within the community since this latest update. Legendary animals are important. They are part of the naturalist role and you can also use them for the trapper. You have the choice of whether or not you want to sedate this animal and get a sample of it which can be sold within the naturalist role or you can actually kill this animal, skin it in which you can then create unique items of clothing which can then be added to your character. Either way you look at it, legendary animals is something that is needed within this game. And when you first start the naturalist role, it does give you a map to point out animal locations. And as you carry on ranking up within this naturalist role, you get more animal locations added to the map. But every single time that anyone goes there, no animals spawn in. So that is what we're going to be going through in this video. Before I do get into the video, I am streaming over on Twitch. If you do want to see any more content from me, head into the description down below, follow the link, drop a follow over on Twitch, and you'll be notified the next time I go live. Also, if you have any other questions relating to Red Dead Online and the latest update, we have got a Discord channel where you can ask as many questions as you want, as well as just interact with the rest of the community. A link to that is also in the description. Getting back to the video, as said, right at the beginning of starting this role, the second you pay 25 gold bars to enter it, Harriet Davenport ends up drugging you, but as soon as you wake up, you do have the equipment you need. You have this legendary animal map which shows the animal locations, and as you rank up, you get more animals added to that map. I've already managed to get to the maximum rank, rank 20 within this role, which means the map that I have is the full thing. It's got every legendary animal on it, and what I've done is actually play markers and follow this route. It starts off in Rhodes and goes to the top of Saint Denis, goes up to Annersburg where I'm trying to find a boar and a beaver, and then heads all the way across to the Heartlands, and then head north, go all the way up to Coulter, and then start heading back down again to Strawberry, Blackwater, to McFarland's Ranch, and then finally go across to New Austin, which is Armadillo, and then finally Tumbleweed. That means I'm going through every single animal location to find these legendary animals. And in the second that I get to Tumbleweed to look at that last animal location which is a cougar at the bottom left, I want to head back to Tumbleweed, fast travel all the way back to Rhodes again and then go through this whole thing again. I did this for a couple hours and I did not find a single legendary animal and this is also as a max rank. In addition to adding more animals to the map as you rank up, you also increase the chances of one of these animals spawning in. So I'm a max rank going through this route and I just still could not get a single legendary animal within free roam for two hours and then tried a different approach. The animal that I really want is the fox which can be found in Coulter. The reason I want it is because of the outfit it gives you once you go to the trapper. So I spent one hour just in the area of Coulter just riding around to see if it would force a spawn in. It spawned in gang hideouts every now and then but it never spawned in the animal. I even tried leaving the area but going down to Big Valley and then coming back up again. And I did that a couple times and still the fox never spawned in. The other way that I tried, which I did do for probably just a bit less than an hour, because at this point it was getting very tedious. I tried just keep on jumping lobbies whilst remaining in the same area of Coulter. So I would spawn in this area. I would ride round for about five, 10 minutes just to see if this animal would spawn nearby. As soon as I was convinced that the fox would not spawn in this lobby, I would then change lobbies, look for a new free roam session, and then do the exact same thing again. And yet again, it did not spawn in. I even tried using the legendary pheromones. I was just chucking them about, not knowing whether or not it would actually bring in an animal, increase the chances or what, but I ran around this whole area just dropping pheromones everywhere and nothing happened. The pheromones are only used if a legendary animal has already spawned in, in which at that point it's kind of pointless to use, but it just means that the animal's more likely to come towards you instead of you having to go to it, but you still need that question question mark on the minimap. You still need that animal spawned in. So out of many hours going into free roam, trying to find these legendary animals, jumping into a number of different lobbies, I even managed to get into a solo lobby for a bit. I cannot find a legendary animal. And at this point, it is not worth it. Legendary animals seem to be very similar to dynamic events, gang hideouts, in that there is specific locations that they will spawn in but it's not guaranteed to spawn in. This reminds me of what people used to do at the beginning of Red Dead Online, and that is to plot gang hideout locations on their map and then just go for a route. 
And that is because people used to spread rumors that you can get a treasure map probably every free gang hideouts. That was a complete lie, that was never ever possible. But players still went through these gang hideouts routes across the whole map just trying to find one to spawn in, and there's several of them across the whole world. As soon as they went through the whole route, they would change lobby and start again. It's just not worth it though. So the question now comes, if you can't consistently get legendary animals within free roam, how else can you get them? The good thing is if you get to rank 5 within the naturalist, Harriet Davenport has legendary animal missions. This guarantees that you will get a legendary animal, and they take 10 to 15 minutes to complete, and they are far more cinematic than the animals that you can find within free roam. This is an actual mission. With this you don't get a choice in the legendary animals that you want to pick. Harriet will give you a choice of 2 to 3 legendary animals at a time, and every 48 minutes these animals will reset and show different legendary animals that you can go into. In the footage that you are seeing on screen you're seeing a legendary moonstone wolf, a legendary cross fox, and a legendary pater bison. As soon as I complete the moonstone wolf, that's it, it's done. I can't enter this legendary animal again, but I still have another two legendary animals. And by the time they're finished, it resets to give me more legendary animals. And going into these missions, you still have a choice of what you want to do. Just because this is the naturalist that you're talking to and Harriet is giving you the missions, doesn't mean that you have to get samples of these animals. You can if you want to, and you can get those samples and you can bring them back to Harriet to sell later on, in which she will stamp your animal field book, and you can collect that one. Way. Or if you're like me who really wants the items of clothing and wants to progress through the trapper just so that they can have every item of clothing within the game, then you can go into these legendary animals, you can kill the animal and then you're given the option to skin it. As soon as you skin it, the mission is over, you spawn back into free roam, you can then put that hide and skin on the back of your horse, ride over to the trapper and you still have the option to sell it. This is far more better and far more efficient than just going through free roam. Now with that said, if you are traveling in free roam and all of a sudden a yellow icon pops up, a yellow question mark to say that a legendary animal is close by, definitely go for it because they are rare. But it is not worth going through the whole of free roam, going back and forth to these legendary animal locations by hopping lobbies or even just staying in one area just so you can get the legendary animal that you want. It's just going to take hours upon hours upon hours and there's still no guarantee, you're still only having a chance. If you're a higher ranked player, it's a better chance, but as already shown, I'm a rank 20 and I still have not been able to get the legendary animals that I want. Likewise with the Harriet mission, I'm still not getting the legendary animals I want, I just want that fox so I can get the trapper outfit, but I'm still getting legendary animals, and I am making money out of this, compared to not even making a dollar within free roam. Also another point that I want to make, legendary animal pheromones are completely pointless. It's only worth using once an animal has already spawned in, but if an animal has already spawned in, you probably don't need it, because now you know exactly where that animal is on the minimap, because the minimap shows you. If the legendary animal pheromones actually increase the chances of the animal to spawn in in that area, then I would be fully down for it. I would tell you to use it 24 seven, just go around free roam, chuck those everywhere and you'll be good. But it doesn't do that. The second you drop it, it just tells you there's no animals nearby to attract. So don't spend money on them, just don't bother using them. Just keep going through the legendary animal missions for Harriet and eventually you will progress through every single legendary animal within the game. The last thing to say is if you are a low ranked player within this new role, being rank one to rank five, definitely do not go through legendary animals. There's less shown on the map and you have a much much lower chance of even finding one. Instead spend your time getting as many samples of different animals, go through the Natchez roll, sell those samples, get XP, maybe even complete a category, get that XP up as quickly as possible. I have already done a video talking about how to get XP within this role. I'll leave a link in the description down below to that previous video. Get that XP up as quickly as possible and as soon as you hit rank 5, that's when you can go into these missions and that's when you can make a choice whether or not you want to still do stuff for Harriet, the Natchez role, or whether or not you want to do stuff for Gus, which is the Trapper. But anyway guys, thank you very much for watching, that is everything to do with getting these legendary 
scary animals within Red Dead Online with this new update. If you do want to see any more content from me, I am streaming over on Twitch. There is a link to that in the description down below. And on top of that, if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section or you can head over to Discord, ask me and the community and we'll get back to you. There is a link to that also in the description down below. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.